the sticker dude coming at you. I got, uh, I want to come out here with some of this, uh, political review that's going on in this country. Uh, try to get the word out there what the hell is really going on here. Um, you know, you got Obama that's been in there for four years. You got this Mick Romney, this Ryan character, uh, you know, in there and, uh, it's all a bunch of bullshit, you know, um, until the people, you know, basically are going to have to take it back, is the way I look at it, because there's no jobs out here, I mean, right here in California, there's, there's over 20 million people out of work, and can't get a damn job, you know, and, you know, it pisses me off, because, you know, I have a son that can't get a damn job, I have other family members, they used to make, you know, big money. Can't even get a goddamn job. And, uh, it really irritates me. Um, you know, you got Obama that's been in there for four years, you know, and everything. Everybody tries to blame him for whatever. But, you know, where it starts, it starts way back. Way back when. Uh, you know, I've been around for quite a while. A lot of years. And I can tell you one thing, um, you know, you got your Democrats, you got your Republicans. And, uh, you know, I've watched it from, I can remember when, it, when Kennedy was in there. That was the best president we ever had. And from there, um, you know, I've watched it just decline. And, uh, you know, now it's went so far that, you know, the people are, you know, going, they're, they're for one, or this Romney guy, or they're for Obama, you know, and I don't have a choice on either one of these, you know, views, but I'm trying to get the word out there, because I'm one pissed off American, you know, and I'm just one, and let me tell you, there's a lot of people out there, millions, that, you know, are pissed off about it too, and, uh, you know, I've been watching and doing a lot of investigating uh, on the computer. And, uh, you know, uh, you get them Republicans in there. I've watched it since I was a little kid. I remember that many years back. Um, I've watched it when you got a Republican in there. What the hell started? We started having wars, man. And that's the straight truth. You can look it up right on your computer, or, you know, it's right there. It's in the history books. When the Republicans got in there, all you had is war. You know, um, I've watched it through pretty much, you know, from Kennedy all the way, you know, Johnson, all the way up through. I mean, hell, when Reagan was in there, everyone had a job, you know. And then you get to the old man Bush, and he screws it all up, starts a war over there, Desert Storm, and, and, you know, has that a, all screwed up. And then his son comes along, you know, and then he starts his damn war in Afghanistan, with these young boys and, and girls going over there and getting themselves killed. And, uh, you know, it really does. It, it, it pisses me off, you know, and, uh, you know, um, I've been doing some investigating, uh, you know, and checking out these politicians. And until the people, you know, technically take this back, we're in a world of shit. That's straight out the word for it, shit. And, um, now you can, you know, take my view of it or you can pass it down the line. I see people putting all this, you know, for Romney, you know, and Ryan. Or they're for Obama. You know, I could give two shit less who the hell, you know, they put in there. If you put the damn Pope in there, he couldn't straighten out this mess. There's no way, no how. They're going to have to get back to the basics like it used to be when I was a kid growing up. Where everyone had a job, everyone could buy a home, or they had had a home. It was very simple back then. Now it's just declined over the years. And it's all bullshit. 
and I'm just one, one pissed off motherfucker that, you know, multiply that by millions that are out of work and losing, and losing their homes and their cars and every other damn thing else, you know, and they can't get a damn job. It ain't like it used to be just, you know, a few years, a few years ago, you could go out, you know, you saw a job up, you go out, you fill out an application, you meet the, the manager, um, or whoever was running, you know, the business, you went in, you shook hands, you know, you filled out a simple application, you got the job, you know, it was no big deal. Now it's all on this damn computer bullshit, you know, you gotta fill it out online, and you might be the 900 millionth person, and there may be, you know, three job openings, and, you know, how the hell are you ever gonna get a job? There's no way. No way, no how. It isn't gonna happen. And I've been looking into the, these Republicans that are running. You get them in there, and we're all going straight to hell. You know, um, you got Iran over there. And, and, and those Republicans are wanting to get in there and start a damn war with them. Look how big that country is. Go on your damn iPhone, iPod, whatever it is you got, you know, computer. And, and look at the map over there. Look at the size of that country. It's the size of four of the United States. And they got nuclear weapons that will blow us to hell and back. And um, you get them in there. Just Katie bar the door. Strap an Atlas rocket on our ass. And shoot us to hell right out of this damn world. Because that's what's going to happen. You know, you commit a crime over there. They cut your fucking arms and your hands off. It ain't like here. You know. They took away a lot of our freedom, you know, and uh, it almost feels like, you know, you're, you're locked up, or however you want to put it. But, you know, I'm just one pissed off American. You know, I can imagine, you know, how many millions are just pissed the hell off about this whole deal. Now, my, my, my opinion of it all, it's all bullshit. You know, I've got people in my family that work, that build these damn nuclear uh, devices. And that's the reason they're wanting uh, Romney and uh, Ryan in there. Because they know if if they don't get in there, they're not going to have a damn job. Because that's just a plain fact. I, I, I found this out. I know what's going on. And that's the reason that, you know, they're all for these, these two guys. And, um, you know, look, you know, pretty funny when they get handed a pink slip if Obama ends up winning and uh, they don't have a job and they lose everything they've got, you know. And that's just, you know, the way I look at everything. And all you got to do is go on your computer and do a little research on both parties, man, you know. And the way I look at it, I ain't voting for a damn one of these son of a bitches. Either side, because there ain't nobody can fix it. And that's my opinion on all of this political bullshit. Because, you, you know, you get it, you get doing some, uh, investigating on your computer, and you're gonna find out, like, you know, they show this Mick Romney and this Ryan, you know, and this Ryan's mom, she's on Social Security, you know, and, uh, but people don't realize that that lady is, her her son has set her up. She's rich, man. She ain't getting a basic eight hundred some dollars a month and Medicare. You know, she's getting the Medicare. But hell, if they get in there, they'll cut that shit. And and that's where you know people are being deceived. You know, by all these campaign ads and all this bullshit. And it just irritates the hell out of me. You know, I've watched people in my family alone. That had jobs that paid big money. And I'm talking not no little minimum wage job. They pay big money. They don't have a pot to piss in. And I'm pissed off about it. And until the people are going to have to get together. And take this damn country back. That's what it boils down to. 
I could care less if Romney and this Ryan get in there. I could care less if Obama and whoever else is with him get in there. I'm, I'm in the middle. I'm like this, right down the middle. I can give two shits who gets in there. But you get them, you know, I've watched it since I was, like I said, I was young. And, um, you know, I've been watching and doing a lot of, uh, it, you know, doing a lot of, uh, research. And, uh, you get Republicans in there and, uh, they'll, they'll start another damn big war. And if they start a war with, um, Iran, we're all going to hell. We're going, we just as well as to shoot our ass up out of here on an Atlas rocket. Because it just ain't going to work. And until the people get together and get back to the basics like it used to be, it's never going to get fixed. Um, you know, that's my review on it. Um, you know, that's my political opinion on it. You know, they can do all their campaigning and all their bullshit they do. But, you know, I'm telling you, I'm just one. Just the one. One pissed off percent. And I'm trying to get the word out there for people to open up their eyes and look. Don't go to the damn polls and vote. To hell with all of them. You know? Vote for none of the above. That's what you do. You don't vote for none of the son of a bitches because they're all crooks. Every one of them. That's the reason this country's in such a damn sh screwed up shape. You know? And until people realize what the hell is going on out here, they're not going to have, you know, any type of, you know, life. You know, you, you know, I have grandkids, you know? I, I sit here and think about it, you know, what's going to happen to them, you know? down the road that's what I'm looking most people just look day by day I'm looking down the road you know what's gonna happen to my grandkids you know in ten years from now because of these political assholes that don't know their ass from a hole in the ground and they need you know to be woke up and until they do this and and the people get together and wake these assholes up you know think about it Seriously, seriously, think about what, you know, your grandkids are going to do, you know, because that's what it boils down to, man, you know, it ain't about us, you know, we, you know, we've already lived, you know, you know, you know, three quarters of our life, but, you know, and it's hard enough for, for everybody, and, but think about the younger people, the, the generation, you know, under us. And then the generation before that. And then, you know, and then you got your grandkids, man. You know, it's time for the people to wake up and don't even show up at the damn polls, man, and boat. You know, get rid of all them crotchety old bastards up there in Washington that's got millions of dollars that they can never spend. And, you know, get rid of them. Be, be done with it. Be, and it'll be over. You know, and until this happens, there ain't nothing gonna straighten out. You know, right here where where I live, I, I couldn't tell you how many houses I count when I go out that are boarded up, they've lost everything. They don't have nothing no more. They only a lot of people had to leave, you know? Some people are li homeless. It's a bunch of bullshit. And until people wake up the hell up and, you know, just say, we've had enough, you know, it ain't gonna get no better, people. So, you know, take a look, do a little investigating on your computer, and, you know, check it out, because you got your Democrats, and you got your Republicans, and you got this goddamn Congress up there, all they do is fight. You know, there's no way of winning it, you know, and until we all get together, um, it, it's just going to be a bunch, you know, it's all bullshit. So, uh, I wanted to give you my review on it, and, uh, you know, I hope you take it to heart, because, uh, you know, I'm looking around, I see people, and they're struggling, I'm struggling. 
You know, I'm struggling every day, day by day. Used to, if I wanted to plan something, you know, and it was six months away, I didn't even think about it. I just done it. But you can't do it that way no more. Look at, you know, look at the prices of gas. It's going right through the roof, you know, because they import that shit from overseas, you know. And they got stockpiles of it in Texas, enough to do this, to run this whole country forever, forever, people. And they've got it stockpiled over there. And this is your bushes that's caused this shit. The old man bush, the young bush that started the Afghanistan war. You know, someone needs to, you know, get in there. Obama gets in there, you know, there ain't nothing that a guy can do. Come on. Come on, people. You know, this, they put handcuffs on him when he went in there. You know, I, he went in there with dark hair, he's gray. Because he's worried to death because he can't do nothing. His hands are tied because you got Congress fighting back and forth. They won't let him sign any bills and pass any of this, this shit that would maybe straighten this country out. And until people realize that, we're in a mess. And, you know, I worry about my kids. I worry about my grandkids. You know, what is going to happen to them down the road? I ain't talking, you know, six months down the road. I'm talking like 10, 15 years from now. You know, what is going to happen to these kids, man? You know, they ain't probably ain't even going to have jobs. You know, there's nothing available. That's my review on this. So I think all you people out there need to wake the hell up and, you know, do a little bit of investigating. Check it out on your computer. It isn't hard. It doesn't take that long. And let me tell you, it's well worth the time you spend to look in on some of this because until you do it you're not going to know what i found out and let me tell you it's a lot of bullshit going on up there in dc so that's my review i hope you watch it i hope you take it to heart and you know i, I you know I, I hope the best for anyone out there that's struggling you know anyone that's struggling and God be with you you know because that's all we can count on anymore is God that's it there ain't nothing else you know because it's all in the hands of you know them politicians and they're just screwing us so you know I hope the best for everyone out there and I hope you you watch my video and take this to heart you know because, you know, I wouldn't make something like this if I didn't think it was right. But I'm, like I said, I'm one pissed off American and I see what's coming and it's not good. And, um, so, you know, that, that, that I'm going to leave it at that. You can do your own investigating on your computer and just see what's really going on out there, man. Check it out and, uh, you know, just, just do it. Just do some checking before you go and vote. Have a good day. Be talking to you.